So we are here to get our people to repentance. Our brothers got to realize they're the mightiest thing that God put on this earth. And it's time for us to leave. take a soul, stand fast in the faith. People need me, so I can't fall. We're trying to elevate Enoch or Elijah for the Messiah. Keeping commandments, not try even fire. You filthy if you full of sin. The kingdom you won't enter in. Why she making clean for the husband comes to clean? These well, women I'm are tired of it. Rest, so I'll make it plain. Messiah coming only for the elect. You better walk circumspect on the highways and hedges. Purge that spiritual house of all heaven. Charge of a prophet. They think they're tired. Of they are the tired. Brothers, Charge where you at? Of a prophet. Charge of a prophet. Gotta stay the lost soul. Who's the king? Right. Who's the king? Right. What time is it? What? Can somebody still? We've been asking this for hours. Can somebody show me the scripture that says God loves everybody? It sound good. You hear so much, it's, 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 on, it's on literature, it's in movies, it's not in the Bible. So if it's not in the Bible, how do God actually feel about white folks, Arab folks, Chinese folks? Do you think he mentioned that in the Bible? At all? This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 53. And you sure, do anybody have the scripture that say God's love everybody? Nobody got it? Anybody? Where in the Bible do it say God loves everybody? That's right. We can't pull it out because it's not there. That's right. But I'm finna read to you out the Bible how God feels about every other nation outside of us. Bring it out. You finna see why they don't read this in church. It's in the Bible. Read it. Upon the sixth day. Read it so they know where we are. We ain't making this up. The book of Second Edges, chapter six and verse fifty-three. Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandments to the earth, before thee and shall bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. So we going all the way to the beginning of the Bible in Genesis, when God created the heaven, earth, the sun, the animals, right? So he, he he going all the way back to the beginning of time. Read. And after these. Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures. So we read about that in Genesis. How Adam and Eve, Adam was made Lord over everything on the earth. We read about that in the Bible in Genesis. Second Ezra. Six. Of him come we all. Call the verse so, so, so the brother can read with hey, I want these sisters to see too. Since I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to, to see it with your own eyes. Here, sister, right here. Obviously got you right here. Hey, brother, I want you to see it too. We have to get that that dope Christianity out of our brain thinking that God loves everybody. That's right. When you think like that, that's how we get treated like anything. That's right. We take anything. Bring it up. When God said, don't take that. Watch this. Call and read it again so we know we're making it up. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. Bring it up. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him Come we all. All of us come from Adam, right? Read. And also the people whom thou hast chosen. Who has God chosen? The Israelites. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You black men and black women. Read. All these have I spoken before thee, O Lord. So what Ezra said, I'm repeating the history that I learned in the Bible. He's repeating the history. Read. Because thou madest the world for our sake. What did Ezra say? Because thou madest the world for our sake. What did Ezra say? Because thou madest the world for our sake. No, for everybody's sake. For our sake. Did y'all know that? My brother right here on the phone. Did you know this world was made for you? Now, folks say that's racist. It's in the Bible. This was here before me. It was here before you too. Man. This is the way God feel. Is God wrong? No. Is God wrong now that he said the world was made for blacks and Hispanics? That sounds unbelievable. Because we've been taught different through religion. Right. That's why I said the Christian church 
has lied on God. The Catholic Church have lied on God. We're reading out the Bible, but something is getting taught different in the church. So call it and read again, God. A lot of folks think we better in the Bible now. They're like, what is y'all reading? Call it and read again. The book of second. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 50. I want you black men to listen good. They got y'all out here with low self-esteem. Thinking y'all ain't nothing, nobodies. Trying to be equal with the oppressor. When God said this about us in the Bible, read. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all, uh -huh. and also the people whom thou hast chosen. Uh -huh. All these have I spoken before thee, O Lord, Read. because thou madest the world for our sakes. Read on. As for the other people, all the other people outside of the Israelites, who are the Israelites? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Yes, Every yes. other nation, including the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man. Who else we got up here? The Filipinos. Yes. Every other nation outside of us. How do God feel about them? Let's read. Bring it up. And for the other people, which also coming from Adam. Because they come from Adam too, right? Read. Thou hast said. God has said that they are nothing. Yes, read. Sister, do you see that in the Bible? Yeah. My brother, do oh, you see that in the Bible? Oh. I want you to see that what, what we just read. Because a lot of folks think we, we are making stuff up out here. Y'all racist. Y'all the black KKK. Bring it up. No, we read the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I mother, you seen this? I'm, I, I, I show it to my mother right here. I want you, I wanted to see that. Where do you buy it? I bought it off the Yeah, definitely. See, they have nothing. I want you to show my brother over here. Listen, mother, when I read that in the Bible, I thought I had a different Bible. I said, I ain't never... Wait a minute, that go against John 3, 16 that y'all taught me? That goes against, what, I'm confused. Bring it out. I thought God loves everybody. No, God loves us. That's right. right. If we are keeping his commandments. Right. Watch this. Right, right, right. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Right. But God made them. But God made them. But guess what? He God. He can say that. That's right. I can make you still say you ain't nothing. That's a God right there. Watch this. We don't. Some more. But be like unto spittle. Now you know how we good at cracking jokes. Y'all y'all know that that come from God. Now he, he it's one thing to say you ain't nothing. Now he finna roast you. He compares you to spit. Now we spit all the time. Is you missing that spit? As quick as it came out your mouth, you forgot about it. That's how God feel about him. That's right. It's in the Bible. I didn't write it. You wrote this? <laughs> we don't. And has likened the abundance of Oh, he finna roll some more. He said you ain't nothing. He compared him to spit. What else God finna say? But the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from the vessel. Hold on, so you have a bucket of water and you walk. You got a full bucket of water. And a little piece of water come out as you're walking. Is you worried about that little piece that fell out? No. You still got a whole bucket. That's the comparison that God has. Right. That's right. He's trying the best. If you didn't understand nothing, maybe you'll understand how I feel when I say there ain't nothing like spit. You confused on spit. The little piece of you dropped that fell out the bucket. That's what I feel about them. God is showing us every angle. Hey, you better see them the way I see them. And you better realize the way I feel about you. Is we understanding that? That's in the Bible. It's a little bit more, right? That was it on that. I want you to go to um. Yeah, Isaiah, please. Isaiah forty. Yeah. It's so much. Look, this Bible ain't a book of money. Ain't about prosperity. This is our family photo album. That's what the Bible is. It's a family book. It's about what happened to us from the beginning to right now. And what is going to be in the future? It's a personal book. Watch this. The book of Isaiah. And then they'll say the white man wrote the Bible. Well, he showed and get rid of that for a while. And, the, and the, <laughs> he did take some of these books there out, though. You might not see these in your Bible. He did, he did take some books out. 
the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 15 Watch this. behold the nations are as a drop that falleth from a bucket you got the phone so they can see it yeah. all this best I want you to show them right here and the reason why I want y'all to see this because when once again we, we out here for truth we out here trying to hustle our people we don't had enough lies we don't had enough games it's time to really do some sincere a healing of our people Look it up. Right. watch this real quick call and read it the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 15 behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket hold on so you mean to tell me it's written more than once in the Bible yeah. anything that you repeat more than once what is it I want you to get the understanding get out. if I can repeat myself I need you to understand how I really feel read it again Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. I ain't better cook our cold blood. Now you're putting the dust. <laughs> Is anybody missing dust? Matter of fact, we're trying to get rid of dust. Right, 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 right. We're about to step up the damn. You wouldn't think God think like that because we're told different. We don't. Is someone on that? Small dust. Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. I want to stop right there, because a lot of our people who want to throw Christianity out the window, and they should, because it's not of God. And some of them want to jump into Islam, and they want to be what? Muslims, right? Lebanon is where? That's Arabia. That's, that's, that's dealing with the Muslims. What do he said that the Muslims are, are what? Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. He don't have no respect for the Arabs either. They think I was about Allah and the Allah is God. Nah, yeah. ain't wrong. That's a false god. Right. Don't try and join. Oh yeah, Allah is really talking about the God. Y'all talking about the same God? No, we not. No, it's not. Uh, uh, it's like uh, Allah made uh, uh, that's the Arab. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, it's not. That's a lie. We don't do the. It's, it's not even translated the same. Nowhere near it. Watch this. Real. They God go back to the sun, moon, and stars. Pagan worship. But I want you to hear the rest of this real, real quick. We almost done. In Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. So the Arabs cannot sacrifice enough to God to become liked by them. That's right. mm -hmm. They can't give God a gift and say, God like us, please like us like you like them, please, please. Here, yeah, we give you this, here. Yeah. Like, what you want? He don't want nothing from you, watch this. All nations, hold on, some nations. All nations. I want them to see this. Oh. I also want you to see this. We reading the Bible. Just let him, just let him read. Watch this, call him to read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 17. All nations before him are as, as nothing. Read again. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations before him are as nothing. Read it again. All nations before him are as nothing. How you get John 3 16 over there? How do we get God loves everybody? Right. How do you get? We are all the same in the eyes of God. <laughs> we ain't read the Bible. That's right. And that's why we are out here on this corner to teach you black men how great you are. That's right. And that the God of heaven and earth is concerned only about you. Bring it out. Right. And you concerned about everybody else. Right. It's high time for us to get our minds right. That's why I said we must be born again. It's a little bit more that I, I, I want to deal with your question. And they are counted to him less than nothing. God is cold-blooded. It's one thing to say, hey, you ain't nothing. Then come out and say, you less than nothing. You wonder where we get our humor from. That's divine. It's from God. Nobody's more funny than black folks, is not because our father is the master comedian. That's right. That's right. But guess what? This ain't no joke, though. That's right. This is how he feel for real, for real. That's right. Now, I want to read one more thing that I want to do with your question. Give me Malachi. Because they might think God changed. You know, the Christian church say, no, hey, that was the old law. Now it's new in Jesus. Hallelujah. He died, 
grace and mercy. Now God loves everybody. Let's find out if that's true. What are we out here teaching? We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. That's right. It's high time for us to stop celebrating all this foolishness. You know? Worshiping all this foolishness. Peace. Making God pissed off where he's letting everybody destroy us out here. That's right. It's time for us to wake up and repent and do what he say do. As the Israelites. Watch this. The book of Malachi, chapter 3 and the 6th verse. Bring it up. For I am the Lord. I change not. I'm going to read that again. I am the Lord. I change not. Why is y'all trying to change God? Why is y'all trying to make God love people that he declared before we was even born? Bring it up. He didn't care nothing about. Right. We better realize how he feel about us. Right. And operate up under that understanding. Right. Appreciate that understanding. Right. God said he don't change. So I don't care how good somebody sing a song about how God loves everybody. Bring it up. That's wrong as hell. Right. You sounded good. The music was fine. The beat might have been good too. But the authenticity of the message is false. God loves blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians only. We can read it in the Bible over and over. What you want it in the New Testament? You want it in the Old Testament? How many times you want it? We can read it over and over again. It's high time for us to wake up. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.